Anish, it seemed like you were almost going to uh, repeat your result of two years ago. Yeah, I think every game I play with him, it's <laughs> going like this. So um, this I'm quite happy about. But uh, okay, I mean, I played very principled. Uh, we got some strange strategic position. I was quite happy with it because okay, we are the young players, and the young players uh, uh, we don't claim that we have any knowledge of those uh, complicated positions because some people they claim they they do, but it's hard to understand really what's happening. So. Uh, we were a little bit, I think, on equal ground in the sense that uh, it was very complicated. So I don't know, you know, I want uh, to close kingside or I want to close queenside or he wants to close kingside or he wants to close queenside. And uh, I think, uh, okay, in this sense I was quite relieved that I had this tactic with DC and C5 because if I wouldn't have it, I would not be sure how to proceed. I mean, I should not be worse anyhow, uh, but uh, because he doesn't really, I mean, if he will try to have play on the queenside, I might get prepared because even I have queen king on b1 still I uh, I have many pieces to protect it so it's not like he's going to mate me but still uh, I was very happy that he allowed me this concrete sequence I think it was uh, quite wrong I mean of him because he can play any move a6 rook b8 and then eventually c5 so I think he underestimated that and then um, my position looked better and better with every move basically he played rook of 7 I thought this was very strong but then I said b3 and uh, I realized that nothing was working for him uh, and once he took on a g3 on c5, knight g7, it became clear that he's basically uh, in trouble and he just wants to, you know, just wants to uh, not lose immediately. So then I got a uh, little bit uh, too optimistic um, and I, pl I took the pawn and played bishop g2, which practically speaking, uh, I mean, it st started to feel a bit too dangerous once I did it and I didn't like it anymore because him. I still need to tempt it to develop my knight, and bishop b3 is always in the air. Uh, so even though probably it was very good for me this position, I think that bishop g2 idea it was already uh, slightly wrong because okay, I mean I cannot calculate uh, bishop takes b3 on every move. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit too much. And finally I wanted to keep uh, uh, an eye on his queen with my queen, and actually I saw this bishop takes b3, but I must be honest I wasn't worried. Uh, I was thinking I might be slightly better. Uh, so I was only considering the ways for him to uh, get attack. Uh, but okay, obviously speaking objectively, I um, I missed a lot of chances, but I think it was not uh, not so bad and it was quite an interesting game. You ended on uh, minus one, probably not your uh, best tournament ever, but not so bad anyway? Yeah, I mean, first I played not that uh, great. I was ambitious, but uh, I mean, I was missing things and my opponents... Uh, uh, Hare Krishna, how you find they managed to beat me. And uh, I think at some point I got so tired I started to feel a bit numb. And uh, well, okay, I mean, I stopped to have any emotions and uh, any fears and uh, st suddenly started to play very good. So, last five rounds, I think in every game I had big chances to win simply. So, okay, I mean, I could have scored plus three maybe finally. <laughs> but uh, okay, I missed some chances. At least I used one chance. and. Uh, this I'm quite happy about. Now you're on the same amount of points as Luke. Uh, he's pretty happy about it that you didn't win. I can, Im can imagine, yeah. I <laughs> think Luke has uh, achieved his goal of his life, yeah, finally in this tournament. But okay, I, I'm disappointed for other reasons than that. Thank you.